Hey there, I'm Dan Happeny with Healing Motion Physical Therapy, and I'm gonna show you how to do a glenohumeral offload taping that can really help if you have that sharp pain with reaching. Uh, once it starts to feel a little better, you can wean this and do the same thing with kinesio tape, just with a little less tension. So you wanna find the shoulder here, you wanna retract that shoulder just a little bit, and I'm looking for the kind of the bony part there, that acromioclavicular joint, and I'm coming here. This white tape is called coverall. Uh, you can find it on Amazon or any other stores. So I'm gonna cut that to length and then I'm coming here and wrap it around. Go ahead and swing that around, Emma, to like the back of the shoulder blade, about right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And then first, I do this top one. On the initial part, I wanna make sure I get it far enough up on that upper trap. So I'm gonna come through here. Great. Come on down. And the goal would definitely be to wean off this tape as quickly as you can, but if it lets you be a little bit more active um, with your shoulder and kind of decreases some pain, it's a great way to kind of calm down that pain initially. We come to the front here, and then we wrap around right around to the back side here, and kind of sew. You want to make sure the white tape really just protects the skin from the brown tape, which is the Luco tape. And so with the Luco tape, then you want to do, so you're going to get some lift. So you do want the Luco tape to be a little shorter than the white tape. So you kind of put it backwards there to get there. You want to clear the acromion and then get a nice little rip here. And then, so here, go ahead and give me a squeeze back of that shoulder blade. Great. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to get nice anchored and then nice purchase to get this nice little fold there and that's gonna support the shoulder really nicely. If you're using kinesio tape, you would do that at like 33 to 50% stretch. If you do it anymore, it rolls off when you try to move the shoulder. And then on this, you kinda of come to the back side, a little short there, and then again, we rip it. And then this one, you're gonna get really nice purchase backwards to help hold that shoulder just in a little better spot. Uh, ultimately, this is the rotator cuff's job. So we get some nice purchase here. You get a nice little skin fold back here, and then we layer it down. So long term, you probably just need to get that rotator cuff a little stronger to hold your shoulder there. And then it's pretty restrictive, but Dana, can you go ahead and raise your arm up overhead? So it definitely like limits her a little bit. As it loosens up, she would be able to get more, and she has a normal range of motion there. So it's kind of a nice way to sling the shoulder, but still be able to use the shoulder rather than slinging it, which in most cases we wouldn't want to do. Um, so that is how you use some coverall and luco tape to support the shoulder to decrease some pain. Definitely wean off of that and work into some appropriate mobility and strength exercises.